Sir, may I come in? Reese, any results on that thing I asked you to look into? Yes, sir. For starters, this bullet you gave me. Its shape and markings perfectly match rounds in experimental Gallian sniper rifle. I see. So Alicia really was shot by someone inside the Gallian force. So, any leads on who fired it? Yes, sir. It... Tell me, Grease. The night before the shooting, records show Lieutenant Lanzett checked out the rifle. What? Baldio had the gun? Are you sure that's not some mistake? It's rare for a tank commander to ask for a sniper rifle. So the clerk remembered it. Sir, only two of those rifles exist right now. One is confirmed to be locked in the arsenal. The other was checked out to Lieutenant Lanzett and has yet to be returned. I can't. It's hard for me to believe, too. Baldio? It couldn't be. Hey, Faldio, you in? I guess not. Notes on the Valkyrian race. The anthropology of the Valkyrie. Maybe he was reading up on the enemy. Hmm? This is his handwriting. Alicia must be made to awaken. What? Alicia must be made to awaken. No matter how much I try, I can think of no other way. I almost wish I'd never joined them on that expedition to the Barius ruins. I'm convinced that the inner chamber was built to admit only Valkyra. But the door opened at her touch. That could only mean that the blood of their tribe courses through her veins. Still, I was shocked to find her bathed in that uncanny light that night in the field. Though I doubted my eyes, I never once doubted. That light was the Valkyrian blue flame. Ultimately, I had no choice but to accept the simple truth that Alicia is one of them. I'd already begun to question all I knew. The walls of the temple sanctum were inscribed with the Valkyrie's account of history. History as it truly was. We are all taught of the darks and calamity, and how their actions forever scorched the land. But this account told a different story. The Valkyrie invaded this land from the north, slaying the indigenous darks and people as they came. Their grasp of Ragnite technology and the art of war were vastly superior. They trained the destructive power of Ragnite on the Darkson's land, burned it to ash, then had the gall to pass the blame for their inhuman deeds off on their Darkson slaves. Darkson's have borne that stigma ever since, while the Valkyrie became godlike saviors. The victors simply rewrote the history books. The Barius ruins promulgate a lie to all but their own descendants as hard fact. Reading about the Valkyrie's power, the true face of these saviors, left me stunned. Yet at the same time, I can't help but think of how useful it could be to us now. Since then, I've investigated every text and report on the Valkyrie I could find. They lead me to believe that at least a few scions of the Valkyrie must have survived to this day. All across Europa, these rare individuals live and die unaware of their own nature. But history has recorded rare cases of individuals who have awakened to their powers. Their stories share one common thread. All of them suffered grave wounds before awakening. If those accounts are correct, the blood of the Valkyrie stirs at the approach of death. Their power, having slept for thousands of years, bursts awake at one step shy of the end. Once awakened, if one of these individuals takes hold of the refined ragnite arms of their ancestors, they make their mark on history as one of the Valkyrie of old. I couldn't stop myself. I stole the Valkyrian lance and shield out of the university archive. Supposedly their blood serves to amplify the ragnite's natural power. 
I have no idea what science lies behind it. Perhaps it's a consequence of their origins in the ragnite-rich northern regions. Regardless of the reason, the Valkyria's life force itself calls forth a reaction from the stone. The enemy Valkyria decimated our forces on the Nagiar Plains. I could not afford to stay my hand on account of ethics. I had the rifle, and I forced myself to use it. I shot her. I placed the lance and shield on her unconscious form. I was racked with insecurity and guilt, hands red with blood of my best friend's love. But now I know. The choice I made was right. Valdio! Hello, Lieutenant Gunther. Is something wrong? Valdio, where is he? Sir, Captain Verrat just called him in. He left only a minute ago. <laughs> Faldio, I'm only going to ask you this once. Was it you who shot Alicia? Yeah. I shot her. Tell me why. Why did you have to shoot her? The people. Galia needed her. Now let me ask you a question. How else do you think we could have won that battle? If not for Alicia's power, Galia would have most certainly lost. I still can't. And not just this battle. I'm talking about Galia's future. How else are we supposed to survive, Welkin? Caught on either side by giants. It's Alicia. Our Valkyria. She's the only one who can protect us from them. Wrong. Our side gaining power won't end this war. All it does is escalate the conflict. That's enough. Listen to each other. You may both be right. But still, you're both very wrong. I don't claim to have the perfect answer either. However, regardless of the reason, attacking one of your own comrades is deplorable. By Galleon military law, I remand you to the stockade until further notice, Faldio. And you, Welkin. 24 hours in isolation for engaging in fisticuffs. Chapter 15, Citadel Girlendio. Thanks to the victory at Nagyar, our forces have pushed the enemy back to the border. The Imperials are currently holed up in the Citadel at Girlendio. Girlendio. A crucial checkpoint along the commerce routes tying Gallia to the east since medieval times, the pass at Girlendio had been fortified for ages. The existing structure was rebuilt as a modern fortress during the First European War, and its grounds were littered with the casualties of war. In the current war, it housed the Empire's command center, and now it stood as their final stronghold. What's our strategy for attacking the Citadel, Captain? Hmm. I still haven't any details on our orders from above yet. Oh, stop your worrying, Farad! I came here myself to give you your orders! General Damon? I'm honored, but why not just send a messenger? Your regiment really showed him up out there at Nagiar. In return, I'm granting you the honor of assaulting the Citadel at the van of the army. Sir? Here are your orders. There's a supply line running into the Citadel. We're sending a train car loaded down with explosives along it to blow us an entrance. The militia will run along the track ahead of it, flipping the right rail switches. Flipping rail switches, sir? 
This while dodging a hailstorm of bullets? That sounds like a suicide mission, sir. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's the perfect challenge for your fearless crew. If we succeed here, the Empire will finally be forced out of Gallia for good. You'll pave the way for the real army. You got that, Farat? <sighs> Damn it. Another mission they don't have the guts to do themselves. Maybe. But it's a mission that somebody still needs to do. Precisely. As the General said, if we win, the Empire will be driven out of Gallia. Let this be our final battle. I'll await good news from the field. Dismissed. incident grows old and stale. Silvaria, what news have you from the front? Sire, they seek to push our soldiers past the border, and the total of their forces approach those of our own. I see. The advantage now begins to sway towards the other side. It seems the loss at Nagyar has ended our hopes of strolling through the gates of Rondkrees. The fault lies with me. This would be over, had I but won at Nagyar. Your grace, grant me another chance, I beg you. Please allow me to fight for your glory, sire. <laughs> Dear Silvaria, do you truly wish to be of help? Yes, more than anything. From the time you saved me, Your Grace, I've... known... that I love you more than I do my own life. Sire, I want to work in the service of your dreams. Very well. So, Silvaria, you report that the strength of our opponent now matches our own. case, let the fire of destruction rain down upon them. Use the final flame of the Valkyria. But... Your grace! The hour of your death shall mark the inauguration of our rule. Farewell, Silvaria. Can't say I'm impressed, Your Grace. Making a lady cry? This is simply one of a number of scenarios we'd planned for since before Nagyar. If her prowess as a Valkyria is insufficient, Selvaria's uses quickly narrow to one alone. <laughs> anyway, there's a messenger here for you straight from Castle Randgrees. So there is. Let him wait. I have no time for simple messengers now. We are set to commence Operation Steel Scythe. Jaeger, prepare to return back east. What? Then it's... the Marmota's finished? It is. Word has come that it has completed its trial run. The Galleons are hasty to assume victory. We shall see them gutted yet. Is everybody here? No. Still no Alicia, boss. Right. Well, let's start. I already heard from another squad. We're prepping some tracks for a bomb. That's right. It's a rough one, but this mission... 
Ah, uh, this is the militia. We're used to getting all the bum missions by now. With that settled, there's one question I gotta ask you, boss. Alicia's Valkyria powers and all. You plan to use those this time, too? No, Largo, of course I don't. I have faith in your natural abilities. Who needs Valkyra when I've got you all? Good answer. I'd expect no less from you, boss. We're ready for anything out there. After all, this could very well be it. Yeah, we're fine. You go be with Alicia. She needs you real bad right now. All right. You all know what you're doing. But does he? This is a tough one. Even for Nature Boy. Having Alicia and the boss moping around is a drag for the whole squad. I hope for everyone's sake they can pull out of this funk real soon. Alicia, there you are. What's up? Look at this, Welkin. Guess what? I found some lion's paw growing while I was out on my walk. Here you go. Very sharp. Makes you look like a real gentleman. Uh, well, thank you. They said it was Valdio. Is it true? Afraid so. Then when I... When I walked through camp before... Some of them got down on their knees. Like they were worshipping me. Praise the Valkyria. The Godchild. They... They were... Begging me to save Galia. Me. I mean, what am I supposed to say to that? Alicia, I... Uh, what kind of life can... can I live from now on? I wish I knew. <sighs> wow, I'm sorry. Guess that was pretty heavy. Here we are, right before the last battle, and I'm not helping things one little bit. Don't worry about me. Sergeant Alicia Melkiot, sir. Reporting. And ready for duty. My mind is focused on the mission. See you later, boss. Alicia. Yeah, Squad 7 has been through a lot. I do mean a lot. Seriously. Um, so, before we go on to the actual mission in Girlandio, um, what I am going to do, and really the game pronounces it Girlandio, I don't know, but, yeah, uh, but basically, let's go into the mission, and this one is very, very hard. I've actually added all the cutscenes from, um, the area where Faldio actually targets, and it was him who who actually shot Alicia. And I think I'll go over that a little later in the story, but for now, basically, I am going to amass the troops ready. Now, um, like before, I am going to have a varying array of uh, ground troops. Now, um, I want to get this right. I do want to get this right. I don't know why I'm going to skirmishes. I don't want to go to skirmishes. I actually want to go to headquarters. Yes, I want to go to headquarters to level up my troops. Because, well, I think I'll need to between, um, uh, things. So, yeah, I don't have that much money, though, in terms of, um, thing, or experience for that matter. But I want to boost my troopers, yes, but also my snipers. I won't be using snipers in this mission because of how it works and everything. So, let's see, I guess I can also boost my engineers as well. And that will be it. To, um, there we go. Let's, let's level up there. So what do we get for our um, thing? And we also get a class up for the snipers there. Now elites as well. Pretty good. Um, any, anything else? Any new orders? In fact, yes, we do. So let's see. Uh, antidote, which cures any... Um, I think of any negative... 
status ailments. I have to say, I don't get that many, but there we go. So now I'm going to spend the rest of my money on the R&D facility, maybe upgrading the, um, the, um, maybe not the hand grenades, but yeah, but certainly the, uh, maybe not them either, so yeah, I can't upgrade the machine guns, I can upgrade the um, anti-tank lances, so that's good, um, and also the sniper rifles, I'm not sure if I'm going to use any snipers in this mission, so that's kind of a thing. I will upgrade the flamethrowers, however. However, the upgrades for them cost quite a bit as well. I can upgrade the hand grenades now, which doesn't cost that much. And uh, what about the tanks? Well, I don't have much in terms of the tanks, so I'm going to upgrade the uniforms for defense. And maybe again, I don't know. Um, maybe the blast suits as well. We can upgrade the blast suits for 9,000. Um, there we go. And that'll be it. I'm not outfitting the tanks because I already did that for the last mission in Nagiar, so yeah. So with that done, it is time to return to book mode, and indeed, uh, start the mission in Garlandio. Not Gilindio. Gilindio. Again, that's an American accent. I am not American, I am British. So, um, I'm, I would not pronounce it that way, so to speak. So, um, the fight for Gilandio. This one is an interesting mission, because of how it is done. Um, basically, um, uh, what we have to do is roll a car laden with explosives towards the Citadel. And this mission is that tough. So we have to activate each of these switch to um, get through there. Keeping in mind that the, imp the Empire will be uh, definitely going for us, especially after the events at Nagyar, of course, with uh, Alicia turning into a Valkyria. I do want Alicia still in my party as well, because she will have plenty of mobility uh, compared to the troopers. So yeah, I'm not sure if I want to put, um, actually I might do, but if not I'll use my two tanks to take down any uh, enemy tanks uh, that the um, send out. I might send in another, and I'll definitely put the former in just to... Um, Bolster my engineers for both tanks. There are three switches total. Let's clear the way. Squad seven, move out. Foot soldiers, mortars, tanks, you name it, they'll be sending it all at us. Stay calm and just get from switch to switch. All right, soldiers, move out. So, this is going to be a tough mission, I have said that. So, first off, I want to move the um, Edelweiss down uh, the tracks a little further. Now, um, keep in mind that the um, um, Edelweiss is not always a great tank to use for this, but, um, yeah, there's also a heavy Gatling cannon there, so, let's see. Do I want to get rid of that trooper or not? I don't know. Which one? Well, actually, no. Let's just use a uh, smoke round. Oh, well, yes, let's use a smoke round. And then I can actually do something. <clears throat> Alicia here. I say Alicia, but yes. So, let's go into the smoke screen and have her. Firstly, well, I don't want to go for the trooper, so uh, this is going to be tough. So, let's not use that because if I use the. Um, there that would not work so this is gonna be tough yeah seriously nah, she, um, she does have a new um, potential Valkyria which does let her hang on however that isn't great so I think I'll have to use one of my troopers to get in there so who's gonna be the brave one Rosie you're the lead trooper get in there so um, Thankfully, due to her being elite, she can actually um, get in there, so let's see, flamethrower? Yeah, flamethrower. Although, apparently, I, I killed um, Alicia there, which is not great, but yeah, at least uh, Rosie can take a hit there. Maybe I should have gone with the thing, but never mind, I'm not resetting now, so, uh, well, maybe I am! Alright! 
then, we're back! So, um, let's try that again. So, let's send Alicia in. I already sent Vice in there. And, uh, apparently, Rumor Puppy is the turn. Um, she going to be a mother? Well, anyway, let's have her help Vice out, and that will, um, do some more damage. Well done there, Alicia. So now, uh, let's have you crouch there. There is another... There's a Gatling further on, so I want to do, be careful. Not do be careful, but be careful and get around there. So, Rosie, once again, get in there and um, out, I guess. Can't use a flamethrower, but I can use some Ragnid on the um, Vice there. Trust me, he'll need it. He's going to go through quite a lot more when he becomes the captain of the Blue Rogues. So now, let's see. Uh, save here. I am definitely going to save because um, <clears throat> there are a few soldiers and I don't want them coming down on me like a ton of bricks. So, with that done, now I want to move uh, Vice a little closer to that Gatling uh, gun there. So, get in there and indeed um, um, it needs to be undodgeable. You're at point blank range. Here. Seriously, you can see there, there is the first of the three switches we need to do in order to move the um, thing. So let's indeed activate it, and that will move the... Um, okay, that's the first switch down. Keep it up, that will allow us to keep going, so yeah. And there's still a Lancer there. And my, my um, experience with Lancers has not been great because, of course, they are immune to um, any sort of... Um, explosive. Also, there is another tank there, so I may want to move the Edelweiss. I don't know how much. No, oh, I'm wasting my turn with the Edelweiss. I right, reload, reload. That was not good. I didn't want to use the Edelweiss actually. I wanted to use the Shamrock because it can get it in behind. So this is the smaller of the two tanks. So yeah. So once again. Um, well, I'm going to send Rosie this time, so yeah, I don't know why I went with the Edelweiss. The Edelweiss would not fit in there anyway, so once again, shoot the soldier there. Very nice. <clears throat> so that, um, then, activate the switch. I don't mean the Nintendo switch. And then, okay. he's ready to move on. So the next two ones are, well, the next switch much harder to reach, as it is located in a minefield. Seriously, a friggin' minefield. So, now I'm going to send the um, shamrock up this way, behind the thing. Now, there are some soldiers hiding in the grass. So, there's a scout there, but I can easily get rid of the scout. Um, so yeah, just be careful, there is one in the grass. So, now, let's drive the shamrock right up behind this tank. Frankly, the extra mobility I added on did, does help here, so... Maybe I can get in a bit closer, but... Nope! That's fine! No more tank! So, yeah. Now I want to back it up against the wall, because... That Lancer will be gunning for it, uh, when I end the turn in a moment. So, yeah. Um, so I save? Yes, I, um, I don't know if I will. Gonna save. Yes, I am gonna save because, as I say, this is actually tougher, even more so than the Nagiar mission, the, the one we just did in Nagiar. I may mean, not be trench mission. So um, now end the phase. Let's see what happens now. Our scout's probably gonna go gunning for my uh, um, troopers there. So yes, and indeed the other. Soldiers will send in for reinforcements. That is a given. Um, maybe you should run in front of a tank, mate. Just saying. Uh, though, um, that Lancer is going straight for the Shamrock, as I thought. In fact, the, the Lancer that near my, uh, where my troopers are is probably going to go for the Shamrock indeed. I may want to uh, do something about. Um, the thing. I'm surprised he didn't use the uh, smoke, not a smoke round, um, 
thing. What round was it now? Um, the bazooka round, I did mention that with the um, scouts in the previous episode. So now I want to send one of my engineers to fix the um, shamrock. So, Alex, I will need you to go up this way because there is an enemy soldier up here hiding in the grass. Seriously. Uh, so, yeah. In addition to that, there's a, there's a lancer, so that's why I'm sending a thing there. So, with that said, let's see. <clears throat> and apparently I, I did good in sending a, a Alex because he is good at uh, sensing ambushes here, so why not eat flames? Why not indeed? Uh, I'm good ducking there. Good ducking indeed. So, uh, let's have you hide in the grass. I don't think he'll be using Ragnade. And, um, Vice! Um, should I go with Let's see. Well, um, he's definitely closer, so can I shoot him? Not from there at all. Actually, never mind! Yeah, and since this guy's a lancer, he can't counterattack! So, um, once again, um, get rid of that lancer, and then we can take this camp and make it easier for us to get reinforcements here, so yeah. Which is good. So that's the first part of the mission done. So now I will crouch here. I might send my other troopers, um, namely Vice and um, the up there. And on the next episode, we will concentrate on getting the second uh, railway switch going. Uh, so I will see you then. Goodbye!